Oh, ho, ho, and welcome once more to the seventh day of Afno Cyber here on TriHackMe. Today we're gonna go through a longer one, I guess many of you would say, but you know, please don't be worried because this is a walkthrough. Now, I just did the task, I did, I did the walkthrough. It is basically just getting to day seven opening cyber chef i know if you're gonna do it do it in the virtual machine that i opened here in my new window it's gonna be a bit slow so what i really did is i actually went into the machine here and then i went into desktop and started my own you know python uh web server so uh, like this and then uh, not exactly like that no let me just get the command right again it's http surf yep I reversed it, so great. So I did, and with the R hand, it did it. it's Python three command. So now I have it. <laughs> so basically, I just uh, opened up a web server just like that by typing Python three m ntgp dot server nine thousand. I went to my other machine and did a w get and the actual uh, document on desktop, and then I just basically disregarded the virtual machine and went ahead of working on my own machine, opening CyberChef in my own browser and having my uh, document here on the machine that I just, you can see, basically have here. The command was uh, wget and the IP address of the machine, you know, I used port 8000 when I did it, I wrote 9000, you can just change it to anything you want that is not within the reserved ports, basically, so. All right, so what you're gonna go through is Open up Cybershift and just add the file and you can basically follow the images and the videos. I cannot do that for you, so you basically have to do it. Follow the, uh, the, the, the instructions basically and add on different kind of uh, uh, filters. Now, this particular assignment here is a what I usually call a hail assignment. If you get a file like that and you need to extract different kind of, you know, strings using Cybershift, it is very, really funky. But it is a, it's something you can do and if you know what you're doing and you're really good with it, it's a really good tool and I really recommend to use it. So go through the step-by-step, um, -step, remove pattern, add next filter, add next filter, so on, so on. And you're gonna get down to the part where you will get the very first question, which is and will be, what is the version of Savage you found in the attached VM? And that is actually just right there, version 9.49.0. The amount of steps is just you counting the amount of steps before it is 10 or 11, because it starts from two or one, I don't, I don't know really, but it, it, it is 10 to count the amount of one filter, two filter, three filter, yes. Um, when you did all the filters, you will get these answers down below. Mystery gift of exit, this is the weird URL, and the flag. I'm gonna show you. You have the, um, um, mystery gift. Uh, you have the TMH file index, which is there. And you have the flag, which is just there under the golden ticket. As you can see, golden flag, golden ticket. So that is really the um, the room. That is exactly what you're going to do. It's adding on these different kind of filters, and it's going to give you this, and that will basically enable you to answer the questions. So. Talking about CyberShift, just just one or oh, more moments before we end the video, is that commonly when you use CyberShift in TriHackMe, it's gonna be basically most because you're gonna do some base64 decoding or encoding, or maybe you have some rod 13 string or some basic stuff like that. This is by far the, the longest Field I ever put into CyberChef on TriHackMe. But you know, it's a very wonderful tool and you can use it for many different things. Uh, I don't know if they posted any, yeah, they did. If you like investigating more, you can go ahead and do the security information and event management module. Knock yourself out. So, really just want to say, ho, 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 ho,